Okay, everybody, I wanted to make, uh, hopefully a short video response to Tanya TK. I'm with Tanya. I had to take a moment and collect myself before I made this response video because it brought up some little emotions because society has so many labels for people. If you don't have this, then you're broke. And if you're over this size, then you're fat. And because I use a wheelchair, I'm disabled. Even though I'm able to move around and do the things I need to do, maybe not like I did before when I was walking, but hey, you know, I think that if we would use less labels for people and just treat people like human beings, there would be more unconditional love in the world. But the truth of the matter is, and it's time to go, it's so correct, you cannot give unconditional love until you have it for yourself. And sometimes when you grow up in less than stellar circumstances, without that bond between you and and your parents or someone that loves you to show you what love is supposed to feel like. You may not know what love is supposed to look like or feel like or how it's supposed to act or behave. So you may not know what unconditional love is, but once you do, you will realize, like I did, that even though I love my two sons, I didn't give them unconditional love because they had limits on it. If you behave this way, then I love you. And when you don't, oh my gosh, what is the world going to think of me? So, Ms. Tanya is correct. You do need to love yourself first, unconditionally, before you can give it to other people. And when you love yourself, there is no reason to make negative comments, have wars, fight with other people. There's no reason to say, oh, she's short, or oh, she's ugly, or oh, she's in a wheelchair, or oh, she's overweight. Because when you love yourself, the person looking at back at you in the mirror, you love everyone else. And you can be grateful that they are alive. Because when you're looking at them, you're looking at yourself. You don't realize it, but you are. Because we are all one. So whether you have a certain amount of dollars in the bank, or you wait a certain amount, or you're a certain size, or you're married or single, whatever you, however you are existing, and whatever you are experiencing, love yourself. And it may take some time if you weren't shown the example from an early age of how to do that. But you can get there. And when you love yourself unconditionally, then your children and your spouses and your family members and society in general will benefit from you loving yourself unconditionally, regardless of your race, creed, color, religion, size physical stature, whether you have degrees or not, love yourself, whether you are black or African American or Hispanic or Caucasian, whatever you are, love yourself, because God loves you, if you believe in God or higher source or creator, and if the source loves you, then who are you not to love yourself unconditionally? Ms. Tanya, thank you for making this video. It really, really is the most thought-provoking and most emotional video that I have watched since I made a response video a few years back to a girl like me. It's just powerful. Thank you.